Hi guys and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be showing you our new additions uh, that we've got in the past few months. First we'll show you this little guy, this is a leopard gecko. I think he's a super hypo. Cute little guy, he's got some little attitude on him. He's in shed just now so he's no uh, showing up his true colours just now. We think it's a male. This is the second one we're going to show you. This is a Spectre female, just a straight up Spectre. She's currently about 250 to 300 grams, I think. Nice little girl. So with the Spectre gene, she has the stripes down her dorsal. Hardly any alien heads, and pretty granite looking. And that, the belly as well, the belly pattern. So this next one we have is a Pastel Spectre female. So as you can tell guys, we're getting a lot of females in just now. We need to bulk up the collection of females. She's pretty, the colours are uh, really nice. that head blushing. Yep, so that's Pastel Spectre female. So we've had this girl for a, a good six months or something now. This is a Champagne Possible Fire. We're not too sure if it's got fire in it, but we'll raise her up, breed her, and we'll soon find out. She's got some attitude on her. Great feeder though. And you can hear her hissing. <laughs> You got to love the champagne. Got to get it into some of your collection. Make some wonderful combos. So that's a champagne, possible fire. Next up, guys, we've got a female Enchi. We've got a spider enchi male as well that we'll put to this and eventually get uh, super enchies. But I love this enchi, the yellow on her is very bright. She's sitting at around a thousand grams and she's still bright like I've not really seen many enchies with as much yellow on her. I'll show you the belly. I'll try show you the belly. There we go. Those yellows are. It's one of my favourite snakes. So this is our second last new one that we got. As you can see, it's a mangrove. This little guy's a feisty bugger. Beautiful animal though. Loves its wee hide. This guy's just a pet for us. Never breed him. We'll also maybe get into some Amazon tree boas and uh, green tree pythons as well in the future. But this is the starter for that. Last but not least guys, this is my favourite out of the collection so far. This is our recent addition, this is a Super Pastel Phantom 100% Hit Clown. We're eventually going to be getting a Pastel Clown, possibly some other combos as well. And then get some Super Pastel Phantom Clowns and Phantom Clowns and things like that. So if you're ever looking for some clown combos in the future, we should have some. The camera's not uh, doing this girl any justice. The oranges that are going down her side, it's crazy. And then the blushing on her head. Try and get a close up.
There we go. So yeah guys, this is my favourite one out of the collection. Can't wait to get her into some things. So while we're on the topic of showing you some new snakes, I thought I'd show you this little guy. We bred him last year, this is the Banana Chocolate Mojave. He's eating like a champ. And his colours are just getting better every time that he sheds. The yellow's in the sides, that purple up the spine. I think it'll get even better as it gets older. And all those spots coming, I'm pretty sure that's uh, from the chocolate because we had the father that was a uh, banana Mojave and he never had any of the spots. So yeah guys, that's banana chocolate Mojave. I'm not sure how well the colours are going to pick up on this girl. This is a blue eyelicistic. So it's a super Mojave and it's possible banana. I doubt it's got any pastel in it because of the dark head. But I'm pretty sure there's banana. And as you can see with the eyes, one eye's different from the other. If I can try and show you, that one's got a red pupil. And this one's just like a normal eye. So that one there's usually, when you see it in person, it's blurry. And then the other eye is pretty clear. And that yellow one right next to the neck there is really nice. There's, you can faintly see a yellow striping going down the dorsal stripe. Right along here and then right along here. But I don't really show this girl too much. We reproduced her last year. Uh, pairing with a pastel Mojave to a banana Mojave. So guys, just want to show you this quickly, we've got two lots of eggs. I don't know if you can see that one yet. Turn, turn that. So yeah, six eggs in there. And seven eggs in there. So that one there is a lesser to a, a banana Mojave. This one here is a pinstripe to a pewter. So this is the way I've got my incubator set up. I've got a wee uh, computer fan there. I've got a heat cable that runs all the way down there. That heat mat doesn't work. Yeah, I just couldn't be bothered dripping that out. I've got some bottles of water there so that when I've got the door open and close that again, it maintains the temperatures. Yeah, I think that's really it. I've got my thermostat here. This is, I wired this one in myself. You can get that for about 10 pound. I've used this for three years and it's done as good. As you can see, the temperatures are sitting there like that. But that's perfect for us because that's not what it actually is in the tub. It's just sitting at 88 in the tub. So guys, I just want to take the last few minutes to talk about some stickers and that. Uh, we got some stickers uh, printed out for you. So if anybody wants any, just give us a shout and we'll send you them over. We'll get a nice close up. So yeah, and I just want to show you some stickers that we've got some from some other people. So this one here is from Max Moss. So if you haven't already guys, go check him out, it's Chris. He's a nice guy, we went and met him at the breeders meeting uh, on the 26th of May. So go check him out, I'll put the link in the description below. So yeah, we get two of them. So that's awesome. Next up we get some stickers from TA Exotics. Again guys, I'll put his description in the details below. And then we get these cool ones from Red Clay Reptiles. So yep, the description right there. But again guys, I'll put the description in the link below. And last but not least, These from the big man himself, Justin Kabalka. We got them. We got 
like these. This is what you get when you purchase, purchase a t-shirt from them. We've got your signature here because he sent us out a t-shirt that was the wrong one but he kindly sent us out the right one as well. So big shout out to Justin. Being a great guy. So yeah, we'll eventually get these all uh, put into a photo frame. With the stickers we'll eventually get them onto the new incubator once we build that. Well thanks for watching guys, if you haven't already please like, subscribe and share and hit that post notification button please. Thank you.